This is The Garden of Earthly Delights by Hieronymus Bausch. It was painted sometime around the year 1500. And this kind of painting is called a triptych, a single piece of art divided into three different panels that collectively show a single linear narrative. Triptychs were all the rage in early Christian art and continued on throughout the Middle Ages and beyond. The design of these triptych altarpieces is pretty darn sexy, if I do say so myself, because it's all like, hey look, I got this cool ordinary painting just hanging on my wall, but psych, there's more Jesus inside. And don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that's the guarantee way to get laid if you're a 15th century monk. But more recently, the triptych has found a pretty massive resurgence from a fairly unexpected source, Instagram. Because of the design layout of the app, the triptych is consequently the ideal art for the platform. Here's why. Within the normal homepage scroll through of Instagram, you'll see photos from accounts you follow in succession, one at a time. But if you go to the individual user page, posts are displayed in a three column grid. And this grid is really important because it means that the ideal Instagram picture is not just a solitary post, but one that can be appreciated within a grouping of three. And nobody does the Instagram triptych justice quite like the social media managers of K-pop groups. In fact, BTS, TXT, and Seventeen, whose accounts I assume are all being run by the same marketing team, almost exclusively post triptychs or other multiples of three. These K-pop social media teams understand the platform of Instagram. They understand this grid, they understand the triptych, and they understand the power of these pictures within this format. Because on Instagram, the triptych is not just a visually pleasing way to group posts, it's actually a very clever and functional marketing technique. Let's go back to how people use Instagram. You open up the app and you infinitely scroll through your home tab until you get bored and close it. Engagement is limited to liking a post with an easy double thumb tap, or if you really care, typing out a comment. But generally, users are not taking a particularly active role in the content. And from a marketing perspective, this is a problem. The whole goal of marketing is to get people to remember, recognize, and emotionally connect with your product. And the best way to encourage that is to get the public to take an active role in engaging with your marketing. Because of the saturation of capitalist marketing in every aspect of our lives, the vast majority of people ignore and tune out the vast majority of marketing. Effective marketing in the 21st century is marketing that is fun and interactive for the public, so that they, in turn, will actually take the time to look at your product. And this is the real purpose behind the Instagram triptych. Mindlessly scrolling through your home tab and seeing a single buried post for a fraction of a second is not enough. But triptych posts change all of this. In order to see the full completed image, you have to visit the individual page, where you are much more likely to follow, to see updates and important information, and to view and engage with other content on that page. You've taken that step to interact with that marketing, and it's working, whether you're aware of it or not. And if you know a K-pop group regularly posts triptychs, you're even more likely to just visit each page directly instead of bothering with the home tab. I'm probably biased, but ATs has my favorite rendition of the Instagram triptych. Here's what the posts look like. They're very, very simple. In the first image, you see the official ATs logo, and in the next two, some pretty basic graphic design or a photo of a prop. But if you're a fan of the group and you've been following them on social media for a while, you'll know that these triptychs are far more important than their plain design originally lets on. Because these triptychs are oftentimes one of the very first signs that a new music video is dropping. And since KQ has been consistent in posting the triptychs leading up to releases, fans now expect and look forward to the posts. They're actually some of the most liked posts on the account. These posts are immensely effective at creating hype and conversation and spreading knowledge throughout the fan community. And even better for KQ, this is crazy inexpensive marketing. It's literally just a screenshot of the music video with a logo slapped on it. The rate of return is insanely high for them, and fans adore these posts. I think people often sensationalize the art of the past, 
that it's somehow better and more impressive than any art that could be made today. But new art is always born out of what preceded it. We've been making the same kind of art for centuries. 500 years ago, people worshipped beautiful artworks that featured the figures they loved in a three-part series of visually engaging connected images. And that hasn't really changed. 